Hello everybody, my name is Valerie Suchins and this is my partner, Jonathan Massey. And together we make up Team Iridian, which is focused on automatic laser optimization and production, which is a continuing project from last year's Autoways. So to begin, we'll start with a brief introduction to lasers. The word laser is actually an acronym, which stands for Light Amplification by the Stimulated Emission of Radiation. As electrons are excited in this tube of active medium, they are projected back towards this rear mirror, which is fully reflective. As the electrons are reflected back through the tube, they reach this output mirror, which is only partially reflective, so some of the laser beam can pass. The alignment of these two mirrors is critical for the laser beam's attributes. So right now, a technician will reach into the active laser with a long screwdriver to turn these six screws in order to optimize for power output and spatial beam quality. This process is proven to be inconsistent and tedious. Our project will automate this process through calculations to determine how far and which direction each screw needs to turn in order to optimize for these attributes. So our best anticipated outcome is split up into two phases. The first phase will be to attach the mirror sub-assembly to the auto collimator where our prototype will be turning the screws. This will allow for alignment before implementing the mirrors into the assembled laser. The second phase will be to attach the mirror sub-assembly to the assembled laser where our prototype will turn all six screws at once instead of the three with the auto collimator. From there, we will be implementing a design that will be monitoring the um, optical power and a sensor will be identifying the beam profile. So our first step was changing the previously used stepper motors to servo motors. This is because steppers are controlled in discrete steps whereas servos are controlled by continuous pulses that are sent through these wires. These pulses have a current component which will allow us to monitor the torque exerted onto the screws. We tested with multiple mo motors one of which was a 180 degree uh, motor that was controlled by the potentiometer and a 360 degree motor that was controlled by the period of the pulse. We found that these did not give us the functionalities we needed, so we decided to implement the hybrid servo, which will be controlled like a stepper, but operates like a servo. This is because there is an encoder inside the motor that will keep track of its position. This is the compatible driver and it will accept the pull size, direction of turn, and instructions for the encoder from a microcontroller. The black ports are for powering the driver, as well as sending the instructions from driver to motor. For our project, we have been using an Arduino, which is a microcontroller. This microcontroller allows us to control a single motor while conducting tests. Uh, we use the Arduino IDE to create test code for each of the motors to see their limits and their functionalities to best decide what motor we should use for the project. On the right is an FPGA. We use it like a microcontroller, and this board allows us to control multiple motors at the same time. For the mechanical aspect of the project, we had to design a base to hold the motors while they turn the screws. <coughs> On the left is a, a 3D view of the structure based off the previous design. The servo motors are heavier than the stepper motors, so support was added here, so this side won't warp or break while under stress. The motors are too large to be directly behind the screws while turning them, so they are offset and use turning or time, timing belts to turn the screws. Uh, during the phase two of the project, there will be an active laser going through here, so the space will have to stay clear. An important part of the project is constantly knowing the torque on each of the screws which a stepper motor cannot do. So we use a servo motor to design a system to help calculate the torque output of a motor. The basic idea was to create a relationship between the changing current with respect to torque. Um, unlike a stepper motor, a servo motor is controlled using pulses, which allows us to have a current variable. Using that variable and these physics equations, we, will, we are able to conduct an experiment where we increase the weight and read out the change in the current output of the motor. This allowed us to calculate the torque constant. While a motor is turning a screw, we can know the exact torque on that screw based off that torque constant and the outputting current. So our remaining technical challenges include integrating the servo motors into the code. 
As it is right now, the code has to decide what direction and how many steps to take. Whereas a servo motor requires a position, um, requires a position to reach. We also need to integrate the current feedback as a limiting factor, so we do not overturn the screws and break the mirror, or have loose screws by overturning them. Then we will conduct final tests for phase one. For phase two, we will have to implement our prototype into an assembled laser. Um, which will optimize the power and beam quality. As of right now, there is no means to measure both these attributes at the same time. We would like to thank everyone who helped and supported us on the project.